The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, we make videos about health and healthcare topics and all are referenced from US National Medical Library. So they are authentic and you can trust them. We are talking about blood tests and it's a series. We have already made videos about complete hemogram, complete blood test, why you can have high number of CBCs, uh, total leukocyte, TLC, WBCs, high number of RBCs or low RBCs. Now we are going to talk about why you can have low WBCs, low white blood cells, low uh, lymphocytes, leukocytes that is basically leukopenia. Leukocyte is WBC and one of the cells in WBCs which are lymphocytes. So we have five different types of cells in WBCs. They are neutrophils lymphocytes basophils uh, then monocytes and eosinophils so all these side all these cells have a different role here and they can vary so if these whole total total number of wbcs are very less then there can be a number of things in your body number one uh, we are not going to talk about the most common one we are just uh, going to enlist the reasons right one of the reasons here is liver damage yes any reason why your limo, liver is damaged maybe because of overuse of alcohol right or any major liver disease can actually lead to decreased number of wbcs right uh, then there is spleen any spleen disorder spleen is again another organ uh, which is uh, present in the left side of your uh, upper abdomen so there also you can have a problem and that's why your spleen can actually get enlarged right if you have enlarged spleen it might lead to uh, it might be a sign that you might have lower than normal wbc count right because what happens if there are abnormal WBCs, if they are damaged WBCs, if they are uh, uh, having any issues, right? Then the spleen actually takes these cells and sequesters them. It takes them and recycles them. Basically, uh, they it basically takes them out of the red uh, of the blood. So spleen gets enlarged, right? So then bone marrow is a place where you actually where all these blood cells are formed so if bone marrow has an issue maybe if there is a tumor or infection in the bone marrow maybe you had a cancer and you took radiation and chemotherapy any kind of treatment for cancer or even cancer in the bone marrow can lead to decreased number of these cells in the forming formation of these cells are decreased in the bone marrow or abnormal cells are produced which are again going to the spleen right for destruction so these are the reasons why you can have the uh, decreased number again autoimmune diseases autoimmune diseases like sle systemic lupus erythromatosis right hiv aids or other autoimmune diseases where your immunity is compromised again that is because of re reduced wbc wbcs are your fighting cells right so infections are uh, see usually infections with bacteria will cause a spike in your wbc count but some infections like viruses like hiv and mononucleosis they can even reduce your wbc count so viruses infections are one of the reasons lastly medicines yes medicines can have side effects on your bone marrow they can suppress your bone marrow and reduce all the blood cells in your in your blood so they can also contribute to the problem remember whenever there is a problem something like this this is a uh, these conditions are diagnosed on the basis of your signs on your symptoms on the whole overall presentation of a patient so you need to go to a physician if you have any abnormalities in your wbc's or your cbc complete him or any blood test and they will help you get better and even find out what is going on in your body right so this is all about a lower than normal wbc thank you so much for watching stay connected and stay healthy my friends